So now what I am going to do is I am going to implement this method security expressions. For that you need to enable global method security in your configuration file with the pre post enabled as true. By default this one will be false. So now you need to make it as a true. Then remove these lines okay now i am going to this endpoint url so what i am going to do is i am going to create preauthorize has authority of on create create means write and for Edit preauthorize of has authority of edit and preauthorize of has authority of delete permission. Okay. So now I save this. Let's build the application. Okay. So please note uh, here we give we given a pre-authorized annotation so only to create edit and delete okay so but this view is open to all so anybody can access to this particular api endpoint okay let's move on postman so i am giving it as a user user can able to retrieve that information and the next one is the manager who is having manager role and having permission to view edit and write so he is also able to view and gk codes admin user he should also be able to view the data the next one i am going to create a product so please make a note so this one will get uh, will be consumed only by the user who is having access right access so we are having a uh, two users so one is uh, admin user and another one is uh, gk code user but the user doesn't have a permission so in that case it should return an error message so let's look onto that okay and i am trying to access see now also we are getting 403 forbidden which means user cannot able to access the particular endpoint mm. record with the product name as bike however i am giving that user id as a manager and password as a password click send now the record is updated okay sorry actually i have to give this a product id as two okay now that the sign record got created similarly i if i want to create any other record like uh, something else so i'm trying so that also got created so the next one will be so we are having a one admin user gk code i'm trying to create a product by using a gk codes id and password as a password give the different name product id as a four and the product name something else like a def so on giving yes so that also got created so the next one is for edit edit also in the same way let's try with the user application i am trying with the user so user doesn't have access to edit then the system should throw you an error message yes 
so the system throw that a forbidden error message now similarly for a delete so i am going to try with the user and manager who is doesn't have that permission let's look at it so user i am going to delete that record one okay so i am trying with the user user we got a forbidden error which means he cannot be able to access that particular um, end point now i am doing with the manager manager is also couldn't be able to delete that so the next one i am trying with the admin user who is having a permission to delete yeah so if you look at that the result page uh, that id one is not available which means that the record got deleted successfully when i am trying to view that the record with the user so let's see so i am getting only 2 3 4 except one so which means that a record one got deleted to recap what we did is we enabled a global method of security as in our configuration file and in our rest endpoint uh, urls by using a pre authorized annotations in product controller what we did is so by using a pre authorized annotations we validated whether that a particular user has that a permission to execute that method if he holds that a permission then the spring security allows him to execute that a particular method and provided that a result back to the consumer thanks for watching this video please like comment and share with your friends if you like this video